I'm here at the Giornate. To be honest, I'm here for fun because this is just an enjoyable week for me. But also, if you write about silent film, which is what I do, uh, I think it's an essential trip, really. Uh, it's, it's a treat, but it's an essential trip because this is the, the most important, I think, event for silent cinema in the world. And this is where you see more films than you could possibly imagine seeing anywhere else. And it's entirely dedicated to silent cinema and entirely treats silent cinema with the sort of joy and respect that it really deserves, I think. I'm a journalist, but I also run a blog based out of London. It's called Silent London. It's all about silent cinema. And I try to sort of uh, talk about silent cinema in a way that um, encourages people who maybe are sort of new to, the, uh, new to the area of silent film, as well as people who, you know, a bit more long in the tooth and know know their silent cinema very well and one of the things I do when I come to Pordenone is every night before I go to bed I write a blog post about all the films that I've seen and it's not a sort of definitive account of everything that's been shown but it sort of attempts to give a little bit of the flavour of the festival and, and why it's so exciting to be here and what the diversity and the sort of strength of the programme is and a little bit of the atmosphere of the festival as well, what people are talking about and how people are responding to the films. So when I first uh, began to be interested in cinema, you know, you, you sort of explore and you've you look at different areas and silent cinema just leapt out at me as the area of cinema history that is the most exciting and also in a way the most unexplored there seem to be more mysteries about silent cinema than there are about other areas of film history and I couldn't resist it and the more I looked the more I looked you know I got very interested in early film and these films that don't look anything like the films that we watch nowadays but everything that we're watching nowadays comes from those early films and so the more you understand silent cinema I think the more you understand about cinema cinema itself and when you come to the Giannate and you see nothing but silent cinema for eight days what you understand is you understand the beauty of cinema and the beauty of visual storytelling and and just the sheer gorgeousness that some of these films have to offer and it's really exciting and I think it gives you a whole new way of thinking about films in general actually. So I think the, the beauty of coming to Pordenone for the festival for these eight days is that you, you immerse yourself in the world of silent cinema in a way that you just can't do in any other way. Um, you know, day to day in London, you know, I might watch some DVDs, I might go to the occasional screening, but here it's, it's non-stop silent film and you get a real, when you emerge at the other end into the sunshine like this, you you have a real understanding of silent film, of the films of different decades and directors and genres and countries and, and you have a feel for silent film that you can't get in another way, I think. And this is why it's almost like worshipping a silent film to come to the Giornate. And it's also just just allowing yourself to be wrapped up in this art form and explore all its, you know, you have the greatest things of silent film here and you also have some really odd little quirks and for me they're all precious and I learned so much from being here and I have a wonderful time as well.